We're live on TikTok. If you're watching this back on YouTube, please see the link in the description for the website. There's lots on there, where to buy my paintings and all my paints, loads of stuff, so check it out. Sit back and enjoy the video. Please hit the like button and leave a comment, please. That would really help out if you enjoy this channel. But otherwise, get your paintbrushes out and paint along. And you can zoom in and pause when you need to. There we go. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Uh, PHX, is that Phoebe? <laughs> I think it is, just say yes if it is. Jim Berry, how you doing? Right, let's get started. Gonna go with some liquid white first. Is the, um, is the music loud enough? If it isn't, I can do it up a notch. Yes, oh Phoebe, I'll try and remember that. Will, good evening, how are you? Uh, Vicky, Anne, good evening, how are you? Where are you watching from? Um, Sweet Cheeks, there you are. How you doing? Nice to see you here. Jen, how you doing? One of my subscribers, along with June. Thank you so much for being here, Jen. How is you, your day been? Mine's been good. So, here we go. So, tonight's painting um, is going to be a little bit sort of Japanese-inspired, hopefully. <laughs> I'm good, thank you, self. Yes, good, thank you, Vicky. Nice to have you here. Music is fine, good. Okay, we're going to go into some first things and do. So we've got white gesso on there, and we're going to put white, um, liquid white on top. So just a very thin coat. Just a very, very, very thin coat. I managed to look, this little bit of wood here that I put in uh, helps me not, you know, I used to have to tickle under there. So this does help, just a little bit of wood there. If you've got the same means, I recommend doing that. <laughs> I can just paint straight on there then and get to where I need to be. Simple little solution. So yeah, we'll do this first and then we'll get underway. What's everyone's day been like? Mine's been pretty good really. Pretty good. Okay. Looking forward to this one actually. Hope it turns out nice. Last night's um, um really turned out really well. I thought last night. Who was here last night? Music is fine. Just got it being good still. Yes, yeah. Um, there's a few of us who's got who's got the cough and the cold. I know that here. A few of us here have got it. I, I had a sore throat last night, but it's kind of gone. So. My pneumonia shot. Oh, you went for your pneumonia shot. I'm great, thanks, says Will. Japanese style sounds great. Yep, let's go. Hope I pull it off. I've only done, um, well, I've done one Japanese painting, and uh, I did a very similar one again. One sold, but the other one didn't come back to me, so that's still, I think that's up on the website. So this will be my third. But it's uh, gonna be a bit different, a lot different to the last one anyway. Right, so look. Uh, K9 Creations, there we go. Uh, how you doing, K9? Hope you're well, we're good. Thank you. Had Layla over and Leah, Leah over today, and it was fun. Oh, good. Nice one, June. I suppose you got some stuff done. Right, nearly done with this. Right, well, I've got to have a fluffy. Blue sky with fluffy clouds. Just gonna do that first. Let's do that. So I'm gonna start with some phalo blue in a minute once I've really worked that in. There we go. Right, that's done. There's the white on white. Finished. <laughs> oh, okay, fried needs are always good. No work tomorrow, Phoebe. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to dry this brush off a little bit. The music um, I'll put a bit lower tonight, as long as you can hear the music, then that's fine. Let's go with a bit of phalo blue. Is that phalo or Prussian? Phalo blue. There, found it. 
little touch of phthalo blue, not a lot of paint. So let's go into the phthalo blue. Just a touch. There we go, we're gonna have some nice fluffy clouds in this one, so I'm just gonna put this on. Just leave it in some white areas as well. Just any old house sort of. sort of darker towards the top. I can get right underneath there, that's good. All right, just gonna leave a few little white bits here and there. Probably come down to about sort of. I can put some little clouds and stuff in there. Probably come down to about there because I've got some things in my mind that I wanna do. Uh, Je is that Jem? How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? Nice to see you here. Mary, thank you for the rose. Mary just reached uh, level member 18. Awesome. So we're going to have some water in this. So I'm going to blend this out now with a dry brush. It's a little bit wet from when I cleaned it out, but I think it's okay. There we go. Just dry it off a little bit. Yeah, so... You see how I put that on there? Now we're just going to blend that out. Just blend it out with a dry brush. There we go. And you've got all kinds of things happening there already. Just a simple, effective way. Just do a sky. There we go, look at that already. And we can put some nice clouds in there. How you doing? You just got number three gift bags. Thank you for whatever you sent, Ra. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Please share the live if you can. Tap the screen. You know what to do if you're enjoying it. Right, okay, we're gonna have some water in this, so I'm gonna put a bit of water there. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, some green. Some sap green, just a touch. Just a toss into that colour. Bit of sap green into this blue. On a sort of watery colour. Something like that. Hopefully you can see. Yeah, just a touch there. So I'm gonna have a little stream coming sort of through the middle, so you know hopefully this is gonna work out. So I'm not gonna bother doing too much, but we're gonna come sort of this way and then this way bit of a sheen maybe through there something like that a bit more green down the bottom something like that so I've left that gap there for the sheen of light a little sheen of light that comes through but it won't be completely white like that. We're gonna blend that out, so. All good, how's life? Yeah, good. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's blend that out then. Same brush I used to blend the sky, I'm just gonna blend this across. Keeping that little sheen of light, but it sort of blends in. Pull that over this way. Got that little sheen of light. Now we can have sort of water and everything on there, water marks and stuff like that. So just might make that a little bit darker down the bottom. Just gone into a little bit more green there, just to add a little bit of flavour down here. That's it. I'm going to be doing a bridge in this one. I haven't done many, so we'll just see. Okay, keeping that flat, that'll do. Right, let's do some fluffy clouds. So I'm gonna grab my fan brush. Grab my fan brush. Uh, are you, it's oils, Wayne, it's oils. If you quickly check out my other videos, you'll see they're all oil paints. So I do do acrylic 
and oil sometimes together on the same one. Oils with Mick, how you doing? Nice to see you. Where you been? <laughs> so, let's go into some titanium weights. Just here. A nice thick dollop of paint. There we go. Right then, let's do some fluffy clouds. Let's just pick one out here. I'm going to blend the bottom of that one out. We'll do that and then we'll blend the bottom. So let's have one. Comes all the way down here. Something like that. Have a bit more paint on there. Uh, Georgie77. Hey, how you doing? Might have to do a temp retirement from painting and TikTok like he's taken up. Oh no, Mick. Get your priorities right, Mick. <laughs> Painting comes first. <laughs> I'm only joking. Alright, we'll have one there. Let's do just a couple of little ones that's just further away. Then not blend these out. These are little, little ones there. I'm gonna have some sort of rolling hills up here in the background as well, so I've got a plan I've got a plan. Alright, let's just add a little bit of um a little bit of flavour to the bottom of them clouds I think. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of black, tiny, and some of that blue on the brush there. Bring it down here. I just want a tiny bit of flavour. I know I miss it. Yeah, I do. Blast from the past. How you doing? How you doing? Blast from the past. Oh, I've got a, my uh, brush has got alopecia. Just gonna put a little bit of colour under some of these. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna blend them out. There we go. That's all we need. Right, let's do a bit of blending. Some light blending. Who wants to say hello to Bob and Brenda? <laughs> they haven't made an appearance yet. <laughs> and of course, Brenda. <laughs> Thanks, there's Blossom Parks. Yeah, nice to see you here, how you been? Okay, let's just blend. I'm just gonna blend the bottom of these out very lightly. Very lightly indeed. There you go, Jen says hello Brenda. There we go, just a very, very light blend. And then you know what's coming. Just a very light lift up. Just a light lift up on them. And then very gently You have to make the noise, otherwise it don't work. Bob and Brenda, there we go. Yeah, they're on fire. Just blend some of these out there. This one I've done quite thick up here, so I'm just gonna really be gentle with this one. But it gives a nice effect. Two hairs and some air. And we just go across very lightly. I'm literally just touching it with the brush. It's that light, it's so light, it's unbelievable. And then we just go across. Got some nice little clouds going on there. Bob and Brenda, you love it. <laughs> Bob and Brenda love it. Always together. Forever. They'll live longer than me. Definitely. Go and get yourself a mug from the website. <laughs> this needs views, not NPCs out there. What's NPCs? We've got 225 people in here. If everyone just pressed the like button twice, or tap the screen twice, that would go up massively to 5K. And just share, please share, copy link. You don't have to send it to anyone. 
and please, it's an opportunity to say, go and visit the uh, website. There's a big sale on if you like what you're seeing. There's plenty of paintings available. Right, there we go. So I want to make a distant, some distant sort of hills here. So a very, 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 very distant sort of colour. Um, where's the sap green there? This website is so cool, guys. I recommend it. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Yeah, please do check out the website. And um, I'll show you now very quickly. I've done another free code. So if you screenshot this now, you get 10% off. And I'll post them tomorrow if, you, if it's bought tonight. There we go. Screenshot that. There's another three codes. First three to go. Get there. 10% off. Visual 10. You just type that in checkout. That's it. Take your screenshot. Three, two, one done <laughs> first time seeing you just in the website your work is amazing thank you so much much appreciated there's plenty on there gave you a mention on facebook today june berry you're amazing thank you so much much appreciated i don't know what mpc's is but there you go says natilla this needs views not npc oh, i don't know what that is someone enlighten me well a little bit of green I want to make a colour that is distant. Green, let's knock up this here. I'm going to nick this white, this green, this blue. I think I'm almost there. I think I'm almost there. I'm just nicking all this colour. Let's just see what this looks like. That is kind of the colour I'm looking for distant, distant stuff. Let's just see how it goes on. Let's see how it goes on. Okay, now, I think I'll use my, this brush. Good for doing sort of distant stuff. I wanna make some distant hills here, so I'm just gonna tap into this color. I'm just literally tapping and loading up the end of that crystals there. Now, I just wanna create some distant, we're not, not gonna to see too much of this, but not too much at all and I'm probably going to make out a lot of misty areas as well so I'm just sort of doing an outline this is all this is all going to be background stuff real background stuff you won't see a lot of this no mountains in this one today this this brush is quite good for doing all sorts of stuff Right now I've done I've done that little line right. So you can make little trees, whatever you want, sticking up. Right now let's blend. Let's let's make some mist in between there. So if I just literally dab this, I'll make some really nice mist. And we can do another little layer here and there. You see that nice mist? Guys, if you like what you're seeing, if you're enjoying the live, you can tap the screen, you can share the share. We can go, we're really low on the shares, five. I'll do some more of them. You can help towards the gift goal, that helps massively. Every gift that's sent, it could be a rose, could be anything, that pushes the live, so that helps, that's another way. Got a hair there. Right, now we can do another little sort of layer. I really missed that out there, isn't that nice? Let's do another little layer. I'm gonna add a little bit, tiny bit of blue to this now to make it a little bit darker. Just a tad darker. Use your palette knife. Thank you for the uh, rose, much appreciated. David's Designs, how are you doing? Nice to see you here. Mary, thank you for the gift. Is that the oval brush? No, it's not. Um, went through all your website yesterday and I'll be definitely be ordering the next in the near future. Will, that's amazing, thank you. Grace says happy trees, absolutely intriguing, Carl. I hope so. <laughs> um, did I miss anything? I think I'm there. No, it was. Um, it's not. It's not the oval brush. This is. Uh, do you know what? I can't remember. Oh, it's the half size brown brush. Did someone just send a gift? I don't know if someone sent a gift. I had the corner of my eye. If they did, thank you so much. Well, I'm just going to darken this up now. 
So it's the same colour with a little bit of blue. It's slightly darker. It's very slightly darker. Again, just going to tap into that. Good, thanks. Good, Davies. Rod Miller. How you doing, Rod Miller? Good second name. I like that. June Berry with a hand heart. I saw that one. Thank you so much. Mary got the number one gift to badge. Amazing. Okay, now. Let's create another little layer. And I've got, these are obviously a little bit darker. I'm going to leave some little breaks here and there as well. Remember, this is all background stuff, so don't need a lot of paint. Just wherever your brush takes you. Let's leave a bit of a gap there and come down there. I love this one. Fill in that area up. And again, we'll make some little mist so we can just miss that out again tap on the screen if you're familiar with gaming npc means non-player character i think all oh, right oh, 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 yeah i'm not very uh, yeah i don't really know thanks for uh letting my own because i've never known let's just squeeze a little bit of mist through there And tap 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 miss them even even just by topping uh, tapping topping the tapping tapping the top <laughs> of these can just make them a little bit more subtle as well there we go let's just do another probably not going to see like i said too much of this area but it, it's there as background stuff so we'll go to about there That mist between each layer really does sort of play its part in giving you different sort of planes, you know. Okay, well, I think I'm quite sort of happy with that. Sort of blend that out there. There we go. Um, I think I'm up to date with the chat, aren't I? Yes, I am. 124 people in here, come on, let's go up to 6k likes rapidly. Get your toes out, get your fingers out and tap the screen. Be careful not to mimic your previous plane. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can do, yeah. That's very good, good advice. Love those clouds, awesome. Yeah, they've turned out pretty well, thank you. Okay, now, I'm going to create, so I want a little bridge going over some water here. So, I'm going to do, make, make up some land here. So we're going to put some sort of grassy areas in, and then we're going to have a tree. I've got a vision, and we're going to go with it. So let's go with the yellow. Nice dobby yellow. Probably going to put a bit of dark on first as well. So I can use up this colour that I've made. I'm going to put a little bit of black into that. I'm going to lay out a bit of dark area. Are you the Bob Ross of the UK? <laughs> I hope so. I'm using the rest of that colour that I've just made. And just scraping all that up, I want some dark colour. There we go, that'll do. Hardly any, actually hardly any no paint waste at all at the moment, so that's good. This should be enough just to do what I want it to do. Let's go with the fan brush. Love your vision. Thank you. Visual fusions. <laughs> it's it the name. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to keep that fan brush in white. I might need that. Let's just go a bit of colour here. And we're just going to lay some... I've got to create some land that there's a little bridge here. So we'll just uh, create some land here. So I'm just going to create some dark first. Maybe it comes something like this. I don't want a lot of paint on here. So yeah, the dark is literally to show, just to show the light areas. Maybe we'll come. This is going to be the, like the edge of the bank. I would have thought. What kind of paint do you use? It's oil paints. Yes, you need the Bob Ross hair. I do, don't I? Maybe I should grow it. We're just going to tap in a bit of colour down here. Maybe it goes there. You can just sweep all that across. 
across now. We just want some dark there. All right, on top of that, we'll start laying. Just had an idea, I can use this paint for something else as well. Maybe the underside of the bridge or something, so. We'll just create another little sort of, I'm gonna bridge there so there could be a bit of land over here. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here yet, but we can just sort of lay that out. Oh, it's all in my uh, rod. It's all in my link um, on my um, TikTok. Haven't managed to do that on the website yet, but I'm sure I will do. There's been so much to do with the website and stuff like that. So, you got, I could I could have used a bigger brush to do this, but for some reason I didn't, so. I like to sort of do it textured anyway. We'll come somewhere down here. And then we're gonna start putting all the color on top of that. And then I've got to do my bridge. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's got the rough shape of the painting now. Like, something like that. I can play around with all sorts of stuff here. Right, let's go into some colour. Probably going to use the, um, yeah, I'm going to use the, I'll use this for the, I'll use this for the uh, thing. I know, for, well, yes, I know. Yeah, he did. He, he, he did hate his hair. He grew it because he was skin. Um, that's what I, 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 um, I sort of read or watched. I've still got the blue on there from the sky, so I've just gone into the yellow and that should make a green colour. There we go. We've got a green. We can make a little bit of darker green over there. Look at that, see just by using the yellow. We've got two greens there already. What type of bridge? Not the London one, just a little wooden one, maybe sort of a, a, a moon, half moony one, something like that. There's gonna be no red in this painting. Okay, so we're just going to lay out some grassy areas here. We just want to lay some grass on there. Some little things growing. See that sort of green coming alive now? We've got the green, we've got the yellow, we've got the dark undertone. see too much of that bit there so let's just change the color up a little bit a bit more yellow not the London yeah, not the London one <laughs> I'm on them opening bridges <laughs> yeah like a sort of maybe a wooden one you know just like a little a little sort of wooden one might have a few little rocks in here and stuff so I'm just curving this sort of greeny round here to give the illusion that it's sort of coming down. Uh, <laughs> Bob Ross was a jewel. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was in the. Um, yeah, he was. He was, in the, he was in the military. All right. Let's just put some over here. Just going to leave some sort of dark areas here as well. Need some more yellow already. You know how quickly the yellow goes when you're using it. It really, really does go. There we go. Well, I'm not going to do too much this side because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do there, but I needed to sort of do that for the thing. We can pull down them, all them for reflections in the water. You know, we might have gonna have a, a bridge here. <laughs> we gotta do the bridge. Uh, who got number three gift the badge? Um, is that? I can't read it because of that white there. Let me put my hand there. Uh, can't wait with my hand. Oh, 
One Top Wheels, thank you for the gift. Yeah, I, I couldn't read the writing, because it would work. How's the sellotape holding up the paint tube? Yeah, it's good, I use gaffer tape. Look, the belly button's all closed up, it ain't coming out of there no more. So that's right. Carl, let's get 10K likes. Share copy link, done. If everyone done it now, that would be 100 shares. Share, copy link, two buttons to press. Let's go. Okay, now, I've got to do this bridge. Um, so, make up some Van Dyke brown. I want some sort of woody colours, you know. What we got here, is that dark sienna? We'll have a bit of that first. And I can add some uh, flavour to it. Yeah, that's that one. We'll have a bit of white on the board. Robert got the number two gift badge. Awesome, thank you, Robert. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna um, put a little bridge here. We're gonna we're gonna do that um, and just see how that kind of works out. I'm probably gonna use just trying to think what brush to use. I might just start with the um, the script liner brush and sort of do the handrails as it were. I'm gonna go into sort of two colours here, which is the the white brown just see what that gives me maybe a bit of dark I'm just going to do a little sort of bridge that sort of goes over sort of like this yeah somewhere there and I can add some wood texture and stuff like that Um, well, I'm up to date with chat, aren't I? So, well, I can neaten this up a little bit with, with a steady hand. This is such a tiny brush. And then we can uh, probably get some magic white out as well. Why don't we have to do some highlights uh, on the wood as well? So, something like, it'll be something like. Just some old sort of wood sort of feel to it. I'm gonna do some little handrails and stuff on top, that's the idea anyway. Um, Lewis McIntosh, how are you doing? Thank you for that little gift there, much appreciated. Right, so go back into this colour. Now, there's gonna be a handrail at the back and a handrail I want to see the underside of this bridge as well, so I'm going to put some dark there. But I'm going to do, I think, the back handrail first. We can have it sort of going over the sort of same shape. So just very carefully. Oh, well, this is a test because it's very, very small. And I'm live. I'm doing this live. I'm nuts. <laughs> I'm good, thanks, says Lewis. Uh, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Really good. Robert, thank you for the help. Um, uh, the little gifts there. Thank you so, so much. Hold your breath. I was. Trail Snails, great to see you. How are you? Been a long time. I've got to hold my breath now. Here we go. I'm going to go something like that. Okay, that's, that's the back one. And of course... It's gonna, it's gonna need. I'm gonna go into the wire again here. Some little rails, isn't it? So we're gonna put them in. I've got white on one side of the brush, and I've got brown on the other. So that's giving me the little highlight on the wood at the same time. And then the the other one will be. The other rail will be bigger and closer, so they're gonna they're gonna go over the top of each other, basically. Uh, Bean, I'm good, buddy. Thanks. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, great to see you. I'm not breathing watching the bridge. <laughs> uh, Lewis just got number gift the badge. What did you send, Lewis? I really appreciate it. Whatever you sent, thank you. Yeah, this paint is gonna take a little bit longer tonight because it's uh, you know a bit different. Right now. I need to do the, the rail that's in the front. So I need some bigger posts. So we're gonna do sort of one, 
one about here, one about there, a bit darker there. I'm going to go somewhere here, that one's going straight over that one. I'll make these ones a little bit darker. Go into some more white. into some more white. I just wiped it all over my hand. There we go. Just a little touch there. There. Just a little bit more of a dark colour. I'm going to really play about with this, I think, tonight. And then we're going to do a hand brow that goes right over the top of that. <laughs> um, Right, let's do this hand rail. Don't know exactly where this is going to go, maybe to about there. So we'll just do this hand rail to start with. And I'm going to add some white and stuff on top of that. It's getting there. Just need some more sort of white areas here and there. Just to make it look like old wood, basically. Some lighter colour. If I can get a really thin, really thin bit of white. Not just white, but... Lock and key 119 coins. Who sent... Oh, you did. Thank you so much. That's towards my gift card. I've got one. Yes, nice one. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? Alice, how are you? Nice to see you here. How have you been? Yeah, I just want a bit of... Just a thin bit of highlight up on here. This is probably the longest bit it's going to take of the painting to be fair. Look, just adding them old sort of wood feel. Bit more white. I love that stopping about there. Oh, I need a post that's here. Just there. Just add a little bit of white on top of that. There we go. A few little streaks here and there. What do you think to the bridge? I'm going to have a little few brush, uh, bushes and stuff around it. Not too bad, thank you. How about yourself? Yes, good, Alice. Thank you. All good. Great to see you here. Okay. A bit more white. I want to do sort of a, a rocky area that this is sat on. So I'm going to play about with that now. And then I can come back to that little thing in a minute. The bridge is taking shape now. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it is. I want some bushes and stuff there. And I'm probably going to add a little bit of colour underneath there. But I want to create a bit of a, a, a thing either side where there's some sort of rocks and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that. And that will be holding the bridge up, basically. So I'm going to go back into that dark colour. I'm just gonna put some, uh, just some little. Tell you what, yeah, just some little dark colours here, and I'm gonna turn them into some rocks. A bit of dark there. Basically, let's use the fan brush. Going into a little bit of white. Just put some little. Highlights on them. There we go. Just a little bit of light playing through there. I can drag some, uh, just a rock here and there. <laughs> I want to pull this down now, I think, and Hopefully get some reflections off of these in the water. And I can add some more rocks there if I want. I want to do the, obviously do the bridge as well. I'm going to pull that down, that colour. There we go. I'm enjoying this one tonight. I sort of let, him, let myself sort of go into the painting. Pull a little bit more of that down. Might have a few little more little rocks just there. I'm going to be on this one probably. 
Oh, June, thank you so much. Thank you. The boot. All right, I need a drink. Okay, just a few more, just a little few more here and there. And there's one here. And then that'll probably do. Yeah, I'm gonna use the fan brush and again, just, just put some little highlights on them. That's just the, the, the bit of white really going on there. There we go. Right, now, pull back to pulling that down and I can put a water line straight underneath. Okay, and we're just gonna go across into the water. I need to do the bridge as well. I'll put a little water line around them. have a big tree here that's gonna come right over it that's that's um, happening what happened to the MAA okay I'll do I'll do one I'll run out of drink I've got to open another can I tried to do a slurpy one for you but looks great again thank you there's 103 people in here we've got 11,000 likes thank you if you feel like if you're enjoying it and you know what to do help out tap the screen share the live help towards the gift goal visit the website i'm really liking this drink now i think it's just the artwork on the can not advertising but it is a nice drink and there's no sugar in it right yeah so we're going to do some water lines here we're going to do the shadow of the bridge and like i said i want to do a bit of a underside of the bridge if I can just a little just a bit that comes down like that just a bit of the underside of the bridge and then I'm gonna use that color in the water I can use the fan brush for this because I don't think I need that anymore. So I'm gonna go into that colour, the bridge. And we're just gonna put, we need to sort of do this, follow it. Follow that pattern, like that. And there's some handrails there, isn't there? So we'll just, just dot that in there like that. And we can do another little, just roughly, because it's water, so it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? Go something like that, and then we'll blend that out. And it should look pretty cool. We'll do that straight down, and then just go across very gently. So you have a little reflection of the bridge there. And I'm just gonna go into this and just make this a tad darker on this side loving it june berry good thanks june looks good thank you who got number three gift badge fizz did thank you fizz how are you doing fizz william ed looks great i think i'm up to date with the chat love your painting says amelia dot thank you margaret awesome thank you uh, i miss the shadow of the bridge oh just done that uh, much better says trail snails looks great again thank you thanks everyone uh, nico price how you doing oh wow says georgie 77 beautiful thank you Got a long way to go yet, but uh, we're getting there. I want to add a bit of dark at the bottom of that bridge. A bit of dark. Just a little bit of dark. There we go, maybe just a little bit here. We've got the shadow of the bridge, we can have some water lines. Uh, still got a lot of tidying up to do around here. Um, not sure what's going on over here yet. Um, we're gonna have a tree there. Let's bring this grass down now. 
I want to add some little, let's have some little bit of red here. No, not red, ochre. <laughs> it wouldn't have been red anyway, it would have been like a rusty sort of colour, but oh, ochre I can get away with, I can do that as well, some ochre. Ochre, some yellow. I just want to bring this sort of grass over a few of these places, over these little rocks here and there. There we go. And we're going to go, bridge is looking very zen-like, oh thank you. I love it. It's my, I think it's my like third bridge or something. Just pulling these down. I can see something I'm going to add as well. I've just, I've just seen what I want. Let's carry on with a bit of just tapping this down. I, I can see stuff here, so I'm going to do that in a bit. Let's go V Turbo. <laughs> How you doing? I'm loving the sky. Bill, thank you. Yeah, rusty colour is nice. Yeah, okay. Rusty colour is nice. I think I went just add a little bit in because I was just feeling a little bit over that side. So I'm just going to go into the red, just a little bit of red. Just a little bit. I just want to add a little bit of... I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's just a little bit rusty. Just a little tiny bit. There we go, and a bit over here into the yellow ochre, into, yeah, I'm going to make some little bushes and stuff down here, so, like I said, I don't know exactly what's going there yet, but I've got an idea. Um, maybe a tree stump at the front would expect that from a perfect, from a perfect world. Yeah, maybe. Alright, let's just have a little think. I'm going to put some water lines, I think, in there. Um, I might use the fan brush to do that. Um, because it's quite a light sort of painting, rather, rather than the um, palette knife, we'll see. More of a sort of sheen. Let's just go in a little bit of liquid white and just uh, have a little sort of... over the uh have a little bit that sort of starts there comes through don't go too much over that okay that's just the liquid white going on so and just add a little bit of flavor in here all them colors coming together now Um, always beautiful painting you're doing. Thank you so much. Maybe I've read that one. Okay. Um, now let's think. Um, let's think. Let's. I want to do. Right now to sort of turn it sort of Japanesey. I need a tree, but I'm not going to do red. I'm going to do gold. The car I bought goes 350 miles an hour. Woohoo! That is fast. That is fast. That is fast. I think a little pergola over there. And we're going to have a tree here. Maybe a little sort of path that sort of comes down there. I might do that now. Um, maybe a few little rocks or plants there. Proper taking my time on this one tonight. And a bit of dark paint. And I'm going to lay sort of a... A little sort of path that sort of comes through here. This will come down. I can go back over this with. Uh, I do need to move the paint now, so I need to work at the bottom. Bear with me. Was the clouds liquid white? No, they were uh, titanium white. Just neat titanium white. 
Yeah, the cloud, if you've done clouds of uh, liquid white, they would just mush everywhere basically. So yeah, you need a thick paint really to do the clouds quite like that. How about a tree with pink blossom? Yeah, I'm sure we could fit one in, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> because it has a V turbine, nice one. Nice one. I couldn't go 350 mile an hour in a car. If I did, I'd have to wear some nappies. That's a sure fact. I went 150 once, someone was driving, and believe it or not, he had one arm, and that was enough to scare the living daylights out of me. So, I thought, nah, I don't, I don't want to do that. Just put a bit of dark here, because I'm gonna put some light on here and turn it into a path, basically. Just a little sort of path that sort of comes down here. Just spreading that on there. This is comes from the bridge there. And now I can go over the top of the edges of the grass again, you see, and that'll sort of bury the path. Slowly coming alive, absolutely. Yeah, I'm taking my time tonight, aren't I? Where do you find the inspiration from these paintings? I look online, I think I'll have that in my painting, I'll have that. Um, I've thought about this particular one for some time actually tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm just literally sort of going with the flow. And you can, and like I said, when you you can have a plan and it can change as you're doing it. It can literally just change. Um, so you know, yeah, I think okay, we'll we'll do uh, we'll do this path and then we'll work on maybe a tree. I was thinking about a little pagoda at the back there in the background, just a little simple pagoda. Um, so we'll have a go at that. Uh, what do I want now? Oh yeah, I'm going to sort of make this a bit colourful. So I need some... Uh, I'm just going to make up a light sort of brownie, rusticy sort of colour. Um, so we've got some... Um, that might do, maybe a bit lighter. Just add a little bit of white in that. I want to make that streaky. Where's the white? Uh, do you know what a McLaren is? Absolutely. That's brilliant. Yeah, I, I used to own one. On my on my Forza game. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, ages ago. Right, I'm just making this colour. All it sort of. Let's just see what this looks like. I just want to make this into a part of, so I'm just going to drag a little bit of colour across here. Just a little path that comes down here. Could be even be sort of steps here and there, you know. Who knows? I'll have to bring some of that colour back over now. Some of that. Um, sorry, my hair was in the way. I'm so sorry. I need a haircut. It's like a an old sort of wobbly path, isn't it? So that's turned out quite nice, I think. Uh, let's go back into the uh, get a bit more yellow on there. It's like a rocky old path, isn't it? Leading leading you in. Right now, we just need to tidy the edges of this up. So we just bring some of that colour back onto there. Quite inviting, I think. Looks like my looks. Look at my home screen. I also love the paint. And thank you so much. I love. To, oh, let's have a look at your. Let's have a look at your picture. What that? Oh yeah. You look very young. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. Tidying this up now. Bit of colour down here. Straight over my little sign. There you go. Like a rocky old path to get there. It's my dad. It's fair enough. <laughs> well, let's go mad on the shares and the likes. Oh, actually, we're at 15k likes. Still, 60,000 was the best ever one. 
<laughs> I don't know if we'll get there again, but there you go. I'm going to do another little rock in there soon, or some grass, maybe a bit of grass that comes down there. A bit of, the, bit of this grass that sort of just comes down there. That's better. And we can sh more shape this now. lift up just a tiny little bit and get some little grassy things going on yeah. straight over my little sign there there we go right then let's do it I'm gonna do a little pergola first in the background because um, I think I might use the filbert for this I'm just gonna use straight black for this straight black and we're just gonna do a nice little thing that sits over here so we could do it could live there and go there sorry that my head's in the way and sorry my head's in the way <laughs> I wish I could paint rocks like that I can't do it oh yeah it's, it's quite easy it really is um, a, a good way to do it is using the filbert which I've got here and one side you do the colour of the rock and then the other side do your highlight and you can literally do them together at the same time. I'll try and do it in a minute just to show you but um, let's just um, I'm trying not to get my head in the way here. So we'll just put a little thing here. And then we just want a little just a little thing in the background there, Japanese sort of style. We'll just do a little sort of something there. Just want to get them a little bit more point, they're going to have to use the uh, black thin, thin and black here. Just want to get them a little bit pointy. Try, I'm going to try and put some gold of colour on that. Sorry about the close up of my ear and all my hair and all that. <laughs> Just a little sort of thing in the background there. There we go. Oh, I can't wait to add some little grasses and stuff in there. Right, let's do a couple of trees. So I'm going to go into some Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to make some trees now. Let's go for it. I need to sip my drink. You can do it, Will, definitely, you can do it. Yeah, definitely. Um, let me just show you quickly, hold on. If I get a bit of paper, hold on. Yeah, where's that fill book? Um, so basically, I tap into... I've gone into black this time. So one side is black, right? And then the other side, I'm literally going to... I've gone into some white. So this might not work, but... And then white, so basically you can literally do little highlights like that. And you got you got the little highlights of the rock, see, you know, you can a bit closer together, but you got the highlight on top, but you can change your colours and stuff like that, so it's quite a good little way to do it. I've got to put that somewhere I don't trip. Yeah, that was just a quick sort of, you know, a quick sort of thing really. Well come on, let's make a tree. I'm gonna get some Van Dyke Brown out. If I can find it. This Van Dyke Brown? Yes. Van Dyke Brown. Okay. Now, it's quite a strong brown, so you can dull that down a bit with some of this colour. And I'm gonna have some lone highlights on this anyway. So clever, Jen, thank you. You'll definitely give a go. Okay, yeah, perfect, so clever. Thanks, Jen. You'll need the gold Japanese bell, says Nick, Nico. We'll definitely have a go tomorrow, thank you. Yes, all right, yeah. Um, yeah, and obviously if the paint's too thick, thin it down as well. 
thin it down a little bit. Well, I've got an abundance of paint here. So I want to make an old sort of tree that's here. So I want to, I'm just going to go for it here and just sort of put some color in. Quite a sort of thick tree. And then I'll, I'll use swap to the other sort of fan brush or whatever. I can't wait to sort of put some highlights and stuff on here. I like doing trees, if you hadn't noticed. Put something like that at the bottom. That paint's sort of quite thick there as well, so. Right, and then I'm gonna use the back to the script liner brush. Plenty thin thinners. Yeah, we'll do a little cherry blossom, I think, over there. I think that's a nice little place to do it, so. That's quite nice because it's picked up the colour of uh, it's picked up the colour of the sky as well. Almost looks like uh, highlights. Right, I need to thin the paint down a little bit more. Just up, just up this one, going off something like that. Nice big tree. So one that sort of comes towards us here. There we go. This is going to look good by the end. Oh, I hope so. Thank you. There we go. This is an old sort of tree. Going to put lots of different highlights and make the roots look interesting. Just a little one comes off there. Yeah, this bit down here, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on. Gonna have them roots sort of going right, sort of, look, look, you can bring that root right down there, look. It needs big, strong roots. Put some nice little highlights on it. Just needs a little, little flick up there. And then we'll do some little leaves and stuff on here. Right, okay, that's the basic of the tree. Uh, let's go into some highlights. What about Twist the Old Roots? You read my mind. This can look so good. If you like the car games, you should get the Need for Speed. Oh yeah, I don't really play car games anymore. It's um, I used to. Oh mind you, I do play Rocket League. <laughs> I like my Rocket League. I'm gonna do this tree a little bit different tonight. Just want to create some real good texture on this. Do it with a palette knife if you want to, you know. Oh, that looks good. Let's have one that comes way all the way down onto there. Uh, oh, I like that. That's a nice looking tree, I think. Uh, the snail's gonna love it up in that tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can sit right at the top. They can meet all the squirrels. Did you see that squirrel that I posted? It was really bizarre when I was on holiday. It came right up to me. It literally, I think it was Bob come back. I love that, thank you. Me too, thank you. Yeah. Just gives it a little bit of character, doesn't it? There we go. Yeah, I quite like this, uh, this little thing coming down here. There we go. It's like it's proper part into the, uh, we can tidy up around the roots and stuff like that as well. But yeah. Yeah, I want to add a bit of a dark strip to the um, bridge as well, I think. I just, uh, I can see it sort of a, a bit here. I'm going to do that now. Just need the paint in and out. Just a, a dark strip that goes across.
it helps with the uh, especially the the sort of white that sort of goes on there. Just a little bit of detail here and there. Um, when was a child there was really friendly red squirrels in the centre parks? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, the um, squirrel that come up to me, I was just like, wow. So, so friendly. Yeah, I literally played peekaboo with it behind the tree. I don't know if you've seen the video. And then that, it came down and there was two of them. So, <laughs> they were having me on. I didn't even know there was two of them. It was quite funny, actually. Well, we're going to do an old tree over here. I'll come, come back to this colour here. Um, um, so yeah, I can do I can do goldish leaves on this one, or I can do pinkish leaves on this one, or do a pinkish tree over here. Yeah. So, what do you think? I'm going to do a nice little. Start off doing a nice little rooty tree over there. Really old sort of wiggly old one. Then there was a tree, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do so we can do we can do sort of that like, sort of colour, so. sort of tree there. Um, okay June, okay gotcha. Um, I would go for the pink, I like the Japanese cherry blossom, they're nice aren't they, yes. I think yeah, well, I can do a bit of both, okay, no, I need to make up a sort of pinky colour don't I, so i kind of run out of space, good job I've got some more palettes over there. Um, but I think I might be okay. Let's have a look. I'm gonna get some white. I need a drink. I love Japanese stuff. My half half my garden was done sort of Japanesey. But we're getting there, aren't we? We're getting there. Let's go for a bit of white here. Yeah. Bit of white. I might have to put a little bit of um, sort of two sort of tones. I might have to do do that. Just see what happens. Clean this off. I'm gonna make two piles. I think one over here. Sorry, you can't see this at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, a sort of darker one and then a lighter one on top. I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just making them down here. There you go. Making some strawberry milkshake. Probably gonna have to a little bit of uh, thinners in this. Uh, I really like it so far. Good. Looking good. Thank you. Well, sixteen point seven thousand likes. Absolutely brilliant tonight. Well done, guys. Awesome. I'm having fun, right? So, I'm just going to thin this paint down a little bit because that's going to go over the. So, I'm going to put a little darker pink on first and then a light pink, like a cherry sort of blossomy colour. So, I just want to make sure that this goes on because if you do it too thick, it's going to be a bit difficult. So, I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. Right, wish me luck. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm going to start with the oval brush, I think. Okay, now let's just go into this pink here. Just think about, I need to make some more pink, I think. That rhymes. Just some little bits here and there. That is very, uh, let's just make another little bit up. I didn't make quite enough up, which is annoying, but there you go. 
little bit of red again. Where's the red? There. Yeah, I want to make this a bit more redder. Uh, not redder, well, you know, I mean pink. And then a lighter, lighter flavour on top. Okay, now I've got some colour. Just try to think where these sort of sit, you know. Have one that lives there. Now I want to add a little lighter colour. There we go. I can add, now I can add the white, uh, the, the, the lighter. This should go on a little bit easier. Let's just make it a little bit more easier to go on. There we go. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it is lighter. And add a little bit more liquid white on there, because that help go on. Cherry blossom. Uh, let's see if we can just have a little bit of dark in there. That's it. That's nice. Just a little touch of the darker one, sort of in between. What do you think, guys? <laughs> it's a little cherry blossom tree. Amazing colour, thank you. That's beautiful, thank you. Right, we're going to go for uh, a sort of, um, I'm going to start with some green on this one over here. Um, let's just think how I'm going to do this one. Um, let's go into that, I'm, going to use, I'm not going to use that pink again. Oh, yes I am. We need some reflections. So we're going to do a little bit of reflections here. In this water. So I can just wipe them out in a moment. Uh, I don't really, I don't think I really need any, um, I don't, don't, I mean, I could put a little sort of, sort of branchy sort of thing that comes across there, there, just sort of play about with that, gives the indication of something, right, okay, let's pull, pull that down, I won't see a lot of that anyway, pull that down, we've got a little bit of reflection there, another paint bogey gone right okay just just a little pink reflection there in the water there you go you can just about see that <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna do this tree over here I want to go into some dark so I'm just gonna go into the make a dark sort of color just getting all the colors off my brush really to be honest go a little bit of green Highlights on top of that. So, where's the green gone? Green, where are you? That's amazing. How can I not find my paint? How can I not find the sap green? How can I not find the sap? Oh, it's over here. That's why Bob's got it. <laughs> okay, a little bit of green there. Yeah, I just want a bit of a colour to go underneath here. And I'm going to add some highlights on this one. Oh, I can't see very well, so I'm going to have to stand up here. I just want to put some... Just some little things here and there on that one. Right, yeah, that's quite a bit of... Or a bit more dark. I want some light coming through but I want it darker because I want to put highlights on this. Right, okay, here yeah, okay, now. Right, where's that? Uh, Gotta make up the colour here. Uh, I literally have run out of palette space so I'm going to have to get another, another little palette. Well, I say a little one. I'm going to have to heat that to the side because I'm probably going to have to use that again. But, I've got colours in this one tonight. 
just gonna make sort of a goldy colour here. Um, so a bit of uh, ochre, some yellow, some red. Bob again. <laughs> Bob, not again. Oh yes, Bob. There you go. Oh, thank you so much, Phoebe. Much appreciated. Confirmation colours. Uh, you sell some petals on the grass. Amazing colours. Thank you. I really like the path in this one. Well, I don't want to make too much colour here. Oops, that was my uh, music music phone. Right, let's just see what we've got here. How long has this taken me? An hour and ten minutes, basically, so far. Okay, let's just try and make a sort of... I want to make a sort of goldy colour. Just a hint of the red. I want to buy some gold. It's 24 carat. That's nice. Let's just see what happens here. Good job I've got another oval brush. Uh, where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Found it, found it, found it. Well, I'm going to go into some thinners. Just. Oh, that's very, very thin. That's too thin. Let me wipe. I've made it too thin now. After all that, I've gone in, gone into the thinners a bit too much. <laughs> I can wipe the brush though. It's okay. Oh, it's like water. <laughs> no, I've left the, I've left a little thick bit over here. I'm hoping that I can get this colour on top. Okay, now stand up. Yeah, this is going on top of that green there. I might even add a little bit of yellow here and there. Can you see? Can you see okay? I'm gonna add a little bit, a tiny little bit of yellow on top of that. This painting is already sold, I think, so. Um, if you would like a similar one, then uh, just let me know. Yeah, I'm just having a little bit of yellow now, just to give it a bit more. But that is quite a nice, I think quite a nice gold colour. And I'm just using yellow to make it look like little highlights, you know, catching Okay, it looks so different from what I'm watching on the iPad. Um, a lot of people have said as well, actually. Everyone, nearly everyone that's uh, received the painting from me said it looks so much better in real life than it does on the screen, which is quite nice. Um, Nick has said, I'll be back. I'll be back. I need to clean my hands. Uh, what does everyone think so far? Is it okay? Do you, do you like it? I think I've got a few little things I need to tidy up on. But I'm just cleaning my hands a little bit. Hi, nice landscape. Part, how are you doing? Nice to see you. I think it's really good, says Phoebe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stunning, says Juneberry. Awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad. Everyone's enjoying it, and uh, right, let's go with a bit of fan brush here. Uh, not the fan brush, the thingy. I'm going to some colour over here. Just some thin down paint. I'm just going to do some little grassy things in there. there. Just some added detail here and there. Even up here, you can do just some little things that live there. Just some little grassy areas coming through. Even there's a, some little ones there. Look. 
these ones at the back here are really small. But just give some little things. Uh, we use the brush that I use the grass. And just, just I don't want to ruin all that tree, but just tidying up around the bottom of the roots so it's a little bit of grass growing over them. There you go. Um, TY, you're welcome. Hello, Sandy Shaw, how you doing? Bamboo. <laughs> I don't think so, not in this one. But yeah, that's that's actually a good one for another picture, I think. I think that is good because I like bamboo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I might work on that. It would be interesting to see how I'd do that one, to be fair. Bamboo. That would be quite interesting. Um, I'm missing a brush. Is there any of my mods in here tonight? Is there any of my mods still here? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> I just wondered if uh, uh, actually uh, we don't. I don't think we need mods. I think that um, well, if the if the if the buyer of this painting is watching, which I know you are, I don't know whether you'd like to name the painting. I don't know whether you'd like to name the painting or not, or put it to a poll. But I'm not too sure if there's a mod here or not. That's the thing. Let's go back to the uh, white there. I just want to do some more little more little more water reflections. Just a bit here and there. Just over where this was. Because that's where we sort of done the tree, wasn't it? So I just want to add a little bit of something there. Can you look at the chat a bit more? Oh, it's really hard work. Like my eyes have to be on the um, painting, <laughs> but I'll try. <laughs> the ancient Japanese world. Right, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if there's any mods in here tonight. I don't think there is. So that means I don't know what to do about naming the painting at the moment. Yeah, a bit stuck on that one. Because normally we name the, name the painting. Well, I'm just going to put a few little bits in here. Around, just tidying up the bottom of these rocks here. Look. Yeah, there we go. And we can put some a little bit up here. Just sheen a light there. Um, okay. If I, if I can, like a few gestures from the group. Okay, yeah, straight out of Japan. <laughs> That's a good one, straight out of Japan. Does it need anything else? Does it need anything else? I can see something. Oh yeah, just a tiny little bit of white here and there. I think that really helps. It's still touching the pink and picking up the pink, but it's just like a little light of pink. It's given giving me a bit more depth in these uh, leaves here, which is quite nice. I want to do a willow tree as well. It looks great. Thank you so much, Robert. Much appreciated. Up to you, mate. I'll let the boy like you said, yeah. Yeah, is is there? I don't think there is a um, mod in here, so um, it makes it difficult if there's no mod. I'm not too sure. Hang on. I'm not too sure if I can do a poll. I don't think I can. Not too sure if I can do a poll or not. Let me have a look. Um, 
Oh, yeah. Okay, so put a few names in the chat. If you've got a name for this painting, just put a few names in the chat. And, um... Uh, 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 we've got a uh, bridge to tr tranquility. So, if you keep your eyes peeled, June, and and just pick a name. I think that's probably the best one tonight. Passage to Bangkok. I do like that path. That path's quite nice. Yeah, I like the path. Okay, yeah, go for it. For the next art piece. Some suggested bamboo. Yeah, someone's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna do bamboo in this one, but I will do in another one. Yeah. I've got the basics of what I wanted to do there. Let me just see if I can get this straight. That's great, thank you. Don't end. <laughs> I have to go some point. Yeah, I have to go some point. Don't forget, you can watch every single live stream. Did you miss yesterday's? Um, that's up on YouTube today, so you can just um, watch every live stream back. I won't answer you in the same way, because it's pretty recorded, but yeah, pathway to Oak, that's another one. I can't I can't read the other bit, because that tube of paint's in the way, it's too white. Is it Oak? Okinawa, Okinawa, I've probably said that wrong, I know I've said that wrong. Looks great. Alright, well, I'll wait for um, June, I think, to say what the name is. There's a few names coming in, so I'll just wait. In the meantime, I'm going to sign this off down the bottom. And... Yeah, I think... Uh, need a little bit of red. I think I've just got about enough red here just to put my initials down here. There we go. Cherry Blossom Bridge, that's a nice one, isn't it? The Forgotten Arts, that's a nice one. Just found you. Uh, bl beautiful Blossom, Cherry Blossom, Sky. There's some good names in there. Okay, June, we're just waiting for you now. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Cherry Blossom Bridge, that's a nice one, isn't it? That's nice as well. I've got, I've got a feeling I need, I just want to do something. I just wanted to put some little darker areas in in here. Just fading out. Just a little bit here and there, nothing too mad. That just gives a little bit of depth, that's all. Just absolutely dabble them out just a little bit. There we go, it just gives a little bit more depth behind them rocks there. I thought that's quite a nice little uh, touch. There we go. Right then, Cherry Blossom Sky please. Okay, that's what it's called. Call it Banana. <laughs> okay, so Cherry Blossom Sky. There we go. Pink Reflections, that's a good name as well. Okay, so June's picked, it's Cherry Blossom Sky. Okay, let's go. Right, let's move these palettes out of the way. I've got an abundance of palettes and paints and stuff around me. <laughs> okay. Let me just double check, let me just double check. Um, there's a bit down there I need to do. That's it. Yeah, there's another painting done. That's painting 217. That is painting 217. So many paintings now. 
Did um, if anyone is interested in buying off the website, I did show you a discount code earlier. If you haven't seen the discount code and want to see the discount code, um, just let me know and I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, Kerry Ross and Sky, okay. Live on TikTok. Today's date is the 6th of 10th, 23. See them on the front, my initials, there's my signature. There's my name. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Can't resist. Uh, this is painting 217. Painting number 217. There we go. There's a bit of history. Thanks everyone for uh, name suggestions. Thanks everyone that sent me um, gifts tonight. Thank you so much. And uh, tapping the screen, you know, and sharing. And most of all, being here. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. If anything, I hope it helps you relax or maybe inspire you to give the paint to go. You know, and just put put on whatever is in your mind on canvas. Just go for it and get ideas. You can look on the internet and all sorts of stuff like that. I've used two palettes tonight. <laughs> well, just about. There's the first one. There's not a lot of paint on there. See how thin that is. But um, yeah. I love watching you paint. Thank you. Nice job. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just showing some of you guys on here. Still more to come, absolutely. Awesome, beautiful, thank you. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Robert. Will looks brill. Brilliant, there you go. So there he is, painting 217. We'll do a quick um thingy. Oh, just before, don't forget, if you do want to support, um, there's the Amazon wish list on the website visualfusions.co.uk and if you do buy anything off the Amazon wish list um, you'll be entered into winning one of three paintings when this door's filled up again down to about halfway <laughs> roughly then I'm going to give away three oil paintings so anything to help out and that's my way of saying thank you back so we've got a few up there so and there's the discount code if you want it take a screenshot the code is visual 10 it's 10% off and it's valid for 24 hours there's another three codes there. So there you go. Right. Oh, thanks, looks good. The new... Yes, yeah, Robert done the name, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Right, there we go. Let's show you a bit closer. I do like that tree. Well, there we go, there's another one to add to my portfolio. <laughs> I got that horrible red lid, red lid there, that was nasty. There we go, I think I've got enough footage of it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just proper getting into this one. I mean, I haven't done many bridges and pergolas and stuff like that. I want to do the tree different as well. You see, I've done the tree different, sort of twisty. I didn't use the palette knife. Um, didn't use the fan brush. I use, I literally used the, um, what do you call it? Script brush, yeah. Mm. Oh, good, June, I'm so glad you like it. I'm so glad you like it. Happy with the clouds as well. Happy clouds! <laughs> Right, say goodnight everyone. I'm gonna go. Thanks for being here. Oh wow, can we make 20,000 likes just before we go? We're at 19.4. Can't, let's, do, let's just make it 20,000. It's only 600 likes. 19.4, come on, we can do it. Just before we go. So cool, thank you Blast and Pass. Shall we say hi to YouTube? Yes. Let's get to 20 grand, 20 grand. And then, <laughs> We say goodnight. We're there. We're nearly there. 
There you go, 20. That was flipping quick. All right, let's get to 30. <laughs> I'm only joking. Right, good night, everyone. Good night, good night, good night. And you can say hello to you. Yeah, good night to YouTube, and I'm definitely going. I'll forget about that. There you go, say good night to YouTube, everyone. Night, everyone, says June Berry. Night, Carl. Good night, June. Speak soon. There you go. Take care. Blast from class. See you later, fella. Always good to have you here. Will, thank you. Nice to have you here, too. Gem, thank you. Good night to all. There you go. Hello, YouTube from June Berry. Take care, everyone. Absolutely. Good. Right. I'm off. I'm off. There we go. There is another painting done. See you in the next one. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.